What's up guys? This is Kike Perez. And I'm here to talk about this is why. My part. Yeah. <laughs> I mean in the beginning it started with the black and white because all of that is old man. Old. We're talking about high school. I was a sophomore and junior when I did most of that. So we did a black and white with no music. You know. There's that one trick where nobody really sees it because it's too far, it's too dark. Especially the black and white makes it even darker, but I just didn't really care for it. If it was a better view, it would have been sick. It would have been way better and you guys would have noticed it more, and, you know. But it was the switch front side flip on East Cap that not a lot of people know about. It's on there, but nobody really sees it as a switch front side flip. Yeah, when I first tried it, it was in the rain a long time ago. When it was, when it was, when it was barely made, it was dirt, it was raining, and I wanted to do it in the rain, because obviously, you know, a trick in the rain would be sick. Switch front side flip off that gap in the rain would be sick. But I couldn't do it, went back to it. And we had this anonymous person that decided to record and he did, he recorded it. And it, it looked cool, like it looked cool that day. It looked badass, I was like, damn, like hell yeah. But now that I see it, it's like, oh man. I might redo it. I still think him because he was the only one that wanted to record me. So I was like, hey man, appreciate it for you recording me, you know? Anonymous, I'm not gonna say who, but you know who, you know who. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like that guy from he looks like that guy from Knocked Up. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, that's why it was all black and white and that switch front stuff nobody really noticed. Yeah. That gap is one of my favorite gaps. It's I could I could do so much on that gap. And it's just fun falling off of it too. Not many people like it because you know, yeah, it's a big gap, it's a long gap, but I think it's really, it's a really cool gap. It's probably it's the best gap in Bakersfield. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do more, and this is why part, I wanted to keep doing more. I wanted to do more bigger bangers, but didn't really have time, you know. Had too much in my hands, started growing up, got a job, had a family. Been my thing. But I still managed to finish the part. It would have been way sicker. I still don't think I deserve the ender. I don't. But I'm not the one behind the computer. More stuff should have been done. You can say I'm satisfied, but I'm not satisfied with the video just some tricks like the manual tray flip in LA somewhere in downtown I think manual tray flip I was so satisfied with that I was so stoked off of that a lot to a lot of you it's probably like nothing but it was pretty sick to me I just I couldn't believe it because that was my first time ever doing a manual tray flip it's pretty crazy a lot of you won't believe it but most of these tricks I was, I did them because Mowgli told me to do them. No, I'm sorry, that was supposed to be anonymous. Yeah, yeah, we would go out to skate and he'd tell me, hey, do this, it'd be sick. And I'd be like, nah, and he'd be like, just do it. And if you don't like it, then don't use it. But yeah, I did them. Most of these tricks, I did them because he told me to do it. Because he believed in me. And I don't believe in myself all the time. <laughs> one of my favorite tricks was the tray flip over the handrail ollie you. That one was a struggle. It took about what two, three days? It took about two, three days. First time we got kicked out. Forgot what happened the second time. I think it was the second time that I did it. But 
It was a pretty cool trick. Train for volley up over the seven stair handrail. <laughs> Wanted to do that and I did it. And I'm proud of doing that. Because not a lot of people would do that. Uh, oh, that ditch. I don't like it. I freaking hate it. I don't like that ditch. It's too hot. It's pointless. But I did a trick because Mowgli told me to do a trick. Oh, this anonymous person told me to do a trick. And I just did something that I felt like I could just do right away. And I did it, and I never went back. I don't know if I ever go back again. But this video was really fun. Most of these tricks are old. I think the recent ones would probably be like three tricks. Three or four tricks that are probably like, that was literally that month that the video got dropped everything else was a year or more old everything else was just really old i wish i kept skating like i used to but i don't yeah i was really happy when i landed the nolly nolly backside flip at foothills 10 with those big ass cracks wearing my security shirt that one was old because my security shirt I wear it everywhere. That one was old. I think I was still in high school. No, I think I was a senior when I did that. I was a senior when I did that. That was a long time ago. I don't know what to do it off on the off now. 14? Nah. <coughs> but I was really happy when I did that. I was skating it with Mowgli. Even though he hasn't landed his trick yet on that. He needs to go back. Or I'll probably just do it for him. You know, in a line or something. Nah, I'm just kidding. But I was really proud of that Nolly backside flip off the 10. Even though my hand touch, I wanted to redo it because I don't like hand touch, I don't like reverts. But I think that was the second time I went back, the second or third time as well. And once I landed it, I, was, I just kept it. A lot of people like my Nolly back big spin or nollie front big whatever people want to see it I see it as nollie front big because I've always seen it like that <coughs> and I did it off East Gap that one was a recent one that one took two days and that one was just fun it wasn't it wasn't challenging that was getting to me it was just I don't know not being a pussy pretty much but it was a fun trick that was the funnest trick I've ever done that was, that was a trick that I can go back and just redo it just for the fun of it because it was fun. I can go and just, if I want to just redo it because I feel like it, I'll do it. But I won't because I want to try something else. <laughs> but it's a fun trick. Not like back big, it's fun. You guys should learn it and do it off that. Give you a challenge, go for it. And then I jumped off the board just for the hell of it. <laughs> but my last trick, fakey small spin. I did that out of nowhere. I was promised pizza. They told me they were gonna give me pizza if I landed that. But it took me like almost three hours to do that trick. A lot of people don't know me, but I don't get very close to tricks that I wanna try. I'll try it and I'll try it, I won't get close. I'll tell you the truth, I tried that trick when I was trying it, I was not getting close at all. At all. I, I had doubt on myself. I'm pretty, I saw it in everybody's faces. They all had doubt in me. I was like, oh, they all thought I was not gonna land it. I thought to myself I wasn't gonna land it. I was already over it. I was tired. I was hungry. I was thirsty. It was midnight. And I was, we were all, we, everybody was tired. And I felt bad for them. So I said, you know what, fine, I'll give you guys, I'm, I'm gonna give myself three more tries. If I don't do it in these three tries, I'm over it. I quit skateboarding. That was it. First try, I went for it, kicked out, same old, same old. Didn't even catch it, wasn't even close to it. Just like the rest of them for the past two and a half hours. Second one, I stomped it. And it, I, almost went, I almost did a 540 in accident. So I did like a fakey, 540 small spin an accident. I almost did it. It would have been cool. I would have probably kept it for credits <coughs> And then the third one I just said, you know what stop it no matter what 
whatever happens, happens. This is my last try anyways. And I ended up getting it. And I rolled the way sideways, but I rolled the way. Can't really tell, but I rolled the way sideways. And I felt good about it. When I landed it, I was like, yep, this is it. I'm gonna keep skating. That was meant to be, it was meant to be. That's pretty much me talking about my video. You know, I was once told by someone very wise, I'm gonna keep it anonymous. They said one time, nobody knows who it is either. Not even the person that he thinks he knows who it is. Some people are born to skate. Some people learn to skate. And I was told that I was born to skate because I don't skate much. I don't. I'll skate once every two weeks. And I'll come back like, in, like I never stopped. But I believe that I just learned to skate, man. I learned to skate. I've been skating for quite a while. I learn like everybody else. That's my video part. Drink some water. Stay hydrated, it's hot guys. Drink more water when it's cold. Ducky. <laughs>